for comparing means using t-test we have got two types of tests one is pair t-test and another one is independent samples t-test in this video we are going to see pair t-test now the scenario of the pair t-test is that every observation is paired means every observation every one value of the first column is related to every one column of another value this sample is also called related sample match sample or paired sample well over here we are having one example of pre weight and post weight means weight before treatment and weight after treatment well we are going to see whether the weight changed or weight didn't change so given the values xi yi of the two columns first of all our p our t test is going to take pairwise differencing after that we are going to have arithmetic mean of every difference and also standard deviation of the difference considering capital D as the population mean for the difference I mean to say that capital D is the population mean of the difference means the sample the population from which this sample is there that particular populations difference is this capital D well our hypothesis is that d is equal to 0 versus d not equal to 0 that means difference is equal to 0 okay that is there is no difference between x and y versus there may be difference between x and y the test statistic for this is same as one sample t basically we, you will find a similarity between the one sample t test statistic and this test statistic with the degrees of freedom again as n minus 1 well as far as uh, python option is concerned we have got one popular option in python from the scipy.stats module called t test underscore rel we will be looking at that option as an example let's take anorexia data set from some R package called mass now for this particular data set I have subsetted this data set with a particular condition as treat is equal to quant and over here is my data set so over here what we are going to see is whether pre weight is equal to post weight or not or pairwise difference is equal to 0 versus it is not equal to 0 like in this way now let me tell you that what we are going to do is we are going to call the the two individual columns with the rel function and we will be having the statistic calculated given here is the example which I had mentioned you about anorexia data set let me tell you that this data set contains many observations and in general it contains actually three treatments and we are going to subset it for only one treatment so hence I, I have subsetted it accordingly and after I have subsetted it I just pass the individual columns it's sufficient that we just pass the individual columns and after that we get the test statistic and also we get the p-value now let me tell you that the p-value which we have got over here is two-tailed p-value it's two-tailed p-value so if we happen to calculate one-tailed p-value we require to divide this p-value by two Fine. well as we see that the test statistic and p-value accordingly the p-value is bigger than 0 0.05 hence we fail to reject H0 hence it may, may be the case that treatment 
might not have made any effect on the weight. Let us consider another treatment related to the same data set. Now this time I have subsetted it for another treatment called FT. This time for this treatment let us consider one tail test. Fine. Considering this, I again generate the the same output this time with another uh, another data set related to another treatment. This time we see that p value is uh, really less than 0 0.05. Let us see how we consider this p value. We need to understand over here that with the given test statistic the p value is basically a two tailed p value with the area under the curve given in this way actually over here in our problem our problem is a one tailed problem a one tailed problem with h1 as d less than 0 we consider over here d less than 0 as you see we saw in our data set you also can evaluate with this data set that the pre weight minus the post weight is negative in all actually basically the treatment is intended to increase the weight so post weight has to be bigger than the pre weight okay so if the treatment has to be effective then pre weight minus post weight will be less than zero in fact will be less than zero that means d is less than zero now considering this our basically our uh, p value is only this particular zone so this p value is basically I can say this is a p value only for the two tailed test for one tailed let me tell you for one tailed the p value area of this uh, of this particular zone so it will be point not 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 seven zero zero two five it will be divided by two and that will be the p value now Needless to say that this p-value of one tail test will be less than 0 0.05 hence we reject H0 that means we reject H0 that means treatment may be effective treatment may be effective even at 1% treatment may be effective fine hence summing up so we had the H0 and H1 in the following way with which we generated the test statistic and the p-value and we calculate the p-value which is a one-tailed p-value by dividing it by 2 hence we have this p-value as 0 well we need to see over here that our t test rel also is that is that function which calculates the two tailed p value it doesn't calculate one tailed p value unlike t dot test function in r so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please don't forget to press the like button and for latest updates from me, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.